the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This morning it's a privilege, but also it's a challenge to proclaim the word in a different type of language. And I think it's more a challenge. <laughs> but I thank God and He has been giving me the opportunity to share, uh, even though in different language, the good news about Jesus Christ, the only one who can protect you, save you, and rescue you. I'm going to read uh, Romans chapter 8. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any power, neither high nor deep, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And today, I'm going, I'm going to uh, do my small meditation in the Old Testament reading. Exodus chapter 14. It says, When Pharaoh drew near, the people of Israel lift up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they feared greatly. And the people of Israel cried out to the Lord, they said to Moses, It is because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness. What have you done to us and bring us out of Egypt? Is not this what we have said to you in Egypt? Leave us alone that we might serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses says to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the other people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the people of Israel may go through the sea on dry ground. The people of Israel have already been liberated. They have stopped being slaves and they are moving away from Egypt. God has freed them. We know that. A few verses back, we read in the Bible that Jehovah went before them day and night, and a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The Bible also says that from the time they left Egypt, God never turned away from them. But when they saw the army of the Pharaoh approaching, the Bible says that they were afraid. And what was the first thing they did? They went to Moses and said to him, Were there no graves in Egypt that you had to bring us to the desert to die here? Why have you done this? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? This is what we told you in Egypt when we said, Let us serve the Egyptians. It is better for us to serve the Egyptians and not die in the wilderness. They come to Moses and start complaining. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in the blink of an eye, they forgot what God was doing for them. In the blink of an eye, they forgot that the cloud and the fire of God was with them day and night. In the blink of an eye, all the confidence and the trust to God had disappeared. And why I'm saying this? Today, you might be going through a difficult. 
you probably are fearing something. What is the problem? What is the struggle that you are dealing with? Do you feel like the army of the Pharaoh is approaching you? Do you have something in your mind that you can't sleep? That problem is uh, keeping you up all the night? Maybe a health issue? Or a problem with your family? And you know, that is exactly what the work of the evil one, the work of the devil, wants to do in your life. The same thing that uh, the army of the Pharaoh do to the people of Israel is what he do, and he try to do every single day in our lives. He wants to infuse you fear. And for what purpose he wants to do it? He wants to take you away your focus on God so that the eyes in your eyes look away from Christ. It's that the purpose of the evil. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Look into Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endures the cross, despising the shame, is it is seated, seated in the right hand of the throne of God. Brothers and sisters, the people of Israel, seeing the army of the Pharaoh, took away the Israelites' eyes from God's presence that accompanied day and night in the cloud and the fire. They already know that God was with them. They can see the fire and they can see the cloud. And they know since the first time that they uh, get out from, uh, was out from uh, uh, Egypt, all the people from Israel know that the protection of God was with them. But when they saw the Pharaoh, or the army of the Pharaoh, they start having fear. This day, God, through his word, showed us that even though the people of Israel were afraid of the army of the Pharaoh, God has promised to deliver them from Egypt, and he keep his promise. God does not change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He knows that you sometimes are afraid. He knows that sometimes the devil is trying to move your focus from the cross and Christ. But it's why today God, through his word, show us. He is the same, like I say, yesterday, today, and forever. And because of that, on this day, in the same way that God tell, said to Moses, and this day he says it to you and me. Why do you cry to me? Do you not realize that I have been with you all the time? All the time I've been with you. Why are you crying to me? When Moses came to Jesus, what was the first thing that uh, God said to Moses? Why are you crying to me? Because if he, Moses came to, uh, to God, he was assuming that God wasn't there. But God was always there. And that's why he says, why are you crying to me? And this is what uh, God says. Command the children of Israel to continue their march. And you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. So that the children of Israel cross and dry ground and be safe. Brothers and sisters, lift up your staff. The staff from Moses is a pretty uh, close. It's an affirmation of God, what, what God is uh, doing in us. John chapter 3, verse 14 and 15 says, And Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness. So, through the Son of Man be left has to be left up 
So whatever who believes in him might have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord. Today will come out in your favor. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. I, I want to share with you a story. This is a story that I hear from a Professor Thomas Truger. He's a professor of Yale Divinity School. And I hear that. It's not my story. It's the story that I'm just telling you. He says that he went to the hospital because he has to go to a very serious surgery. So when he went to the hospital, he get into his room. And when he was there, getting ready for uh, the surgery, he uh, started hearing a sound. Bam, 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 bam. So he was wondering what is happening. So he went to the window and he take a look outside. And he realized then, for some reason, it was a construction site. It was like some type of addition. So a big machine was So after a while, uh, he started getting desperate because the sound. So the sound was keeping bam, 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 bam. And he says, God, please stop. Stop that sound. I'm about to start a surgery. And please stop. And you know how God answered. Bam, 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 bam. You know that. You know, sometimes we ask God for something and we hear like, bam, 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 bam. So this professor went to the surgery and everything was successful. And after they moved to another room and he was in the recovery room. And the doctor came there and says, well, professor, everything was very well. And for some uh, a certain amount of time, you will be hitting a sound. You are recovering from the um, uh, anesthesia, but uh, you have, we have to put an artificial heart implant. So you are being hitting a small sound. So he left the room, he closed the door, and when everything was silent, he started hitting. stop that sound I just went through surgery please stop that sound and you know how I got answer bam 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 every beat every beat it was a gift from God to him Every beat of your heart today, right now, it's a reminder of his grace and gifts. Bam, 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 bam. Every beat is an opportunity to realize that the clouds and the fire of God is with you protecting you, cleaning you, and saving you. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. Amen.